Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bob Waldron and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a nice product review and it's going to be um, of using these lovely buffable um, sanders. Now, it's used to be used with something like a Dremel. This is a nice Rotocraft one just here. If you haven't got one, actually, it's a really cool tool to have. Really good for um, shipbuilding, that kind of stuff. Um, in in modelling, I don't tend to sort of use it as often because it is a bit... Uh, a bit too powerful, shall we say, for plastics. But let's say wood ship building, absolutely um, really cool stuff to use. Um, now I have been searching for years now because I kind of thought it'd be really cool to find something that was a, a head that was soft enough to polish canopies because I just thought, you know, polish up canopies really, really quick and cool and easy. Um, just like you would with, say, your car, paintwork, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I couldn't really find any, but I found some recently and I thought I'd give them a go. So basically the way this works is um, you do get uh, a few that are kind of a little bit useless in this kit. Um, these ones here, just too, too coarse. The problem is, is, you know, these canopies, very, very delicate, you know, scuffs, scratches or anything like that and it just ruins canopies, right? So these ones are definitely um, a no-no. Um, I did try them off camera, you know, no point using them. Um, this one here, which is almost feels like little bits of leather in there, this basically almost cuts through it as well, right? Um, what you kind of want to use is basically in this pack you get two of these buffer ones, the white ones, and then this yellow one, which is like lots of little bits of fabric. These ones seem to work well with the canopy. So uh, as much as you get these with them, maybe you could use them for um, sanding up normal plastics, but we're kind of concentrating on canopies here because to be totally honest with you, Using these for um, normal plastic, you know, you bring two halves together, maybe put some filler down there and sand it. I don't think you can't really, I, I don't think it can really replace good old sanding sticks. Um, sanding sticks are just way more better. Um, and the problem is with stuff like this, if you have the RPM up too high, you know, it doesn't matter what you got on there, you can cut into, to, to, you know, any kind of bits of plastic here. So, um, it, it can sort of ruin things quite easily and you don't intend to um, and that's something we've got to take um, be careful with canopies as well but um, what we've got um, I do find that um, what we do is we, we sort of basically we turn this on you want it on the lowest setting you can possibly have it right because as I've just mentioned you have the RPM up too high it spins too fast it warms up the plastic and it starts eating, melting into it, and you ruin your you ruin your plastic, um, which is what you've got to be careful with this. So if I just turn this on, we've got a nice bit of an Airfix canopy just here. I mean, it's already quite quite shiny, but uh, if we put this on, and you probably might not be able to hear me because of the noise, but we can run it up and down the canopy to try and polish it up, right? As you can see there. Now, you do want to sort of, if you do use it and you do decide to buy it, um, you have to be very, very careful. You kind of, you can't press down. If you start pressing down, you can actually start cutting into the, uh, cutting into it. Well, not quite cutting into it. You kind of heat up the plastic so much and it just scuffs it and it can leave these indents in it. So you want to just be sort of almost tickling the apps, um, the canopy with this. Um, and being very careful. Don't stay in the same place for too long, because if you stay in the place, same place for too long, again, you know, it heats up the plastic and you start cutting into it and you leave these smears and indents and all this kind of stuff. Um, so in that case, um, I, I, I suppose really, you know, the, the, the end result of this is sadly, um, after saying all that, it's one product, product I actually wouldn't recommend. Uh, it's almost as if it's been designed for polishing up metal or something like that, or actual glass or something along those lines. And it's as if it's been repackaged to be sold for polishing canopies or something like that. And it's it just doesn't quite work. I have been playing around on camera just using our buffer here. I've been trying to buff up our canopy here. And you know what? It's The problem is you can't see through um, the camera. Maybe you could see it a little bit, but it's actually kind of 
made it less shiny which is totally and utterly you know not the whole point of it right um, I've even gone off and I've sort of added our good old Tamiya polishing compounds Ooh, our Tamiya polishing compounds just here you know I've put that a bit onto the canopy and then I've come along and buffed it and it's just not quite getting out just doesn't quite give you the results you want because when you're polishing something up you're doing it because you want to get that um, realistic um, full-on polished light glass look and sadly these don't actually get you there um, it actually in some ways you know takes a standard nice shiny canopy and almost dulls it a little just a little haze I don't know if, how well you can see it you probably actually I think you might be able to see it it's just got a slight little haze like it hasn't quite buffed it up um, and in saying that I did even I, I really have been testing this and I did even go off and sort of um, I, I basically went off and took this canopy and I sanded it with a sanding stick just to sort of represent um, do you know when you get like the seam lines going down a, a canopy and you have to sort of scrape them off sand them down then you have to polish it up well I, I sanded along here to sort of kind of represent that we've just done that then I tried using you know this yellow one and it does you know sort of shine it up a bit and then I buffed it and I even used all the compounds and stuff but uh, again I don't know how well you can see that on camera but there's like a lots of sort of uh, it's not like sanding scratches but like ripples in it uh, and I, I don't think you can sort of see it on camera so you'd have to take my word for it there um, it doesn't actually look good right um, so sadly you know as I say I don't think I can actually go off and sort of recommend this. Um, this is one of these things where, you know, I go off and I buy all sorts of products and, you know, it looks good, it sounds good, you know, four euros, nice price, but then actually coming down to actually using it and trying it out and it hasn't turned out that well. So hopefully you can take this video away and sort of, if you were thinking about getting something like this, um, maybe not basically hopefully save you some money uh, and and really i just don't think you can be good old-fashioned using the tamiya polishing compounds and buffing them up you always get absolutely fantastic results i know it's time consuming i know you're there constantly doing lots and lots of circles you're going through the three different compounds from coarse fine to the finish and I know it takes ages and stuff but you do get some fantastic results even with dipping your canopies into glass I know there's you know certain problems you can have with that but you know you do get much much better results and you know in the end if you can if you end up buffing it and it ends up being a little bit less shinier than you do getting it out the box as standard it's just not really doing the job to be honest with you so ho hopefully it's just been a nice little video to sort of maybe save you a bit of money by not going out and buying certain products so yeah sadly this one is a thumbs down here at genesis models so um hopefully you've enjoyed hopefully you're going to save a bit of money now so until next time my name is bob waldron and i'll catch you later